So the video I'm posting this week is about my recent trip to Seattle. I'm working on a video for one of the cruise brands. It's a higher level video that is supposed to show a lot of aspects of the company, both from the ship's perspective and from the shoreside perspective. I got a lot of images I'm very pleased with. I'm very excited to include it in upcoming videos. I got to meet a lot more of my coworkers that I don't see very often or new ones I've never really met. And it was a very social opportunity for me. I, I find that a lot of my strengths are in the ability to not only work independently and be on a self-managing team, but also have the ability to have lots of social interaction. And I feel like that's where a lot of my excitement and drive to go to work comes from, is not only being able to do something I want to do every single day, something that interests me, but also connecting with people so there's three takeaways I have. One is to plan out specifically what you need to cover. The must-haves and then anything beyond that is the nice-to-haves. And so I planned out, according to all the videos and projects I was working on, specifically what meetings and what projects that I needed coverage on, what specific shots I needed coverage on. And then I added additional shots depending on the amount of time I had left over. And so because of that, it was a very successful trip. I got everything covered that I needed to and then some, and I'm very happy with how everything came out. The second thing I took away from this trip is focus on being yourself and being authentic. With an open office plan that this new office has, there's a lot of opportunity to see people constantly. Whenever you stand up from your desk, whenever you're walking anywhere around the building, you're running into people from every level of management. And you can very well just look away, shy away from them, which for many of you who know me when I was younger, I used to be a lot more shy. And I would commonly do that, but holding a camera and all this gear on me naturally attracts attention for one. And two, I kind of like to break the silence. I, I feel slightly awkward when there's silence or when I know I should make some kind of connection with someone. And also when I was filming them, to get them to laugh and to get them to interact, I would be goofy behind the camera. I would be myself, I'm usually a goofy guy. So I would make funny noises, smile, kind of like I'm interacting with a little baby or little kid in front of the camera with a stuffed animal, uh, things like that. So I would be goofy, get them to laugh because I'm being weird. But it created real moments, real laughter. And it was, uh, it goes back to that whole idea of being yourself, being authentic. And the third takeaway I had from this trip was confidence. I feel like I'm a good mix between an introvert and an extrovert. There are days where there's not much social interaction I have. I could be shy. I could be lacking in some confidence in certain areas. And then there are other days where I'm striving for attention. I love to do things that get people to react, that get people to laugh at me or the things I say because I'm weird and I'm a goof. And the confidence I needed this week was in my ability to perform my job duties with a high amount of quality and professionalism that accomplished everything I needed and more for my trip and for all of my projects that I was covering. And I was interacting with all levels of management from the top executives to the specialists in the company it really required me to be myself and to be confident in who I was and to treat people as people and not be intimidated by their level of experience or their job title and knowing that I'm there to accomplish a certain agenda and I'm gonna do so with a positive attitude and with confidence and knowing that the end product is going to show them in a good way, they're gonna look good and they're gonna feel good and seeing themselves. One of the flat sides from that experience was I would end the day after getting so much content, so much footage, and I would not feel fully confident that the image was great or that, oh, I lacked lighting in this area, my white balance was off. But in the end, when my dailies happened, when I reviewed everything, my confidence shot up. I realized that, yeah, I'm. I am pretty talented. Um, there's obviously more I can do be doing, but when I'm doing it 
by myself, I'm carrying around tons of gear. There's times that I am managing the variations in lighting. I'm manning the focus pull on the camera, the framing, the image, all that cinematography, and even holding a boom pole in one hand. I'm doing so much for the project by myself that there are going to be mess ups, there are going to be faults, but as long as they're minimal and as long as I can recognize them in the moment and course correct to know that I can hide those later on, kind of fix it in post, but to the end viewer, they're not going to know the difference. That is kind of the whole plan idea behind being a solo filmmaker, being a one man band, is that you have to be able to be flexible and confident in your abilities and know what your limitations are. I feel confident that I did that. Those are my three takeaways from my recent trip. So I'm doing a video every week. Make sure to check out my video next week. 